people have thought of some interesting designs for the next generation of space stations, giving us a glimpse into the future of space. Today, we're taking a look at the top 15 most unbelievable space station design concepts. Number 15. The Spider While the Spider may look more like a toy spinning top than a space station, this concept was at one point seriously considered to be one of NASA's next big projects. The design for this station was made in 1977, and it used a spent shuttle engine tank as its body, while a circular solar array provided the station with power. Being equipped with a control center and a space habitat, it was thought that the Spider could act as a stopover for astronauts on their way to either the Moon or Mars. However, in the end, the plan wound up falling flat. Number 14. The Brick Moon it should come as no surprise that in the 1800s, no one really knew that much about the ins and outs of spaceflight. Therefore, we can give Edward Everett Hale a little bit of a break when, in an 1868 edition of the Atlantic Monthly, he designed a brick sphere that was 61 meters in diameter that could be launched into space with people on board. Estimating that it would take 12 million bricks and cost about $250,000, or $4.5 million today, he hoped that it could be used in a similar fashion to the North Star to help ship captains navigate the ocean's waters, leading to Everett Hale writing a novella known as The Brick Moon just one year later. Many believe it to be the first description in history of an artificial satellite. Number 13. The Nurdung Wheel while there are many incredible space station concepts out there, few are as wacky as the Nordung wheel. First conceptualized in 1929 by Slovenian rocket engineer Hermann Nordung, it was a space station designed in the shape of a wheel, with the plan being that it would constantly rotate in order to generate gravity. Power would then be created by collecting sunlight through the concave mirror in the center, and the station would also feature an observatory and machine room that would connect to the living quarters. However, given that it was designed over a hundred years ago, it was way ahead of its time and has now largely been forgotten. Number 12. The Von Braun Wheel Made famous by its rendition in the film 2001 A Space Odyssey, the Von Braun Wheel is one of the most fascinating concepts in space history. First conceptualized by famed German-American aerospace engineer Werner Von Braun in 1952, it was supposed to be about double the size of the Nordung Wheel as it would come in at about 76 meters in diameter, house 80 crewmen, use solar power collectors along the rim, rotate at three rotations a minute to produce artificial gravity, and be made of rubber. In fact, it was supposed to be used not just as a space station, but as a base for the U.S. to spy on the Soviets, and would be an architectural marvel that would blow the USSR out of the water in regards to the space race. However, despite Von Braun heavily marketing the idea, it would eventually be shelved in favor of a series of much less expensive but nearly as effective alternatives. Number 11. The U.S. Skylab B While the U.S. Skylab gained worldwide fame after its launch in 1973 as an orbital workshop, a solar observatory, and an in-space laboratory, the U.S. Skylab B was a concept design that was supposed to replicate these uses. With the planned launch date being either 1975 or 1976, the Skylab B already had a number of modules ready to go, with a full-size training module even still being on display today at the Lyndon B. Johnson Space Center in Houston. And most of the parts were either used for other missions or donated to museums. As a result, the world never got to see what could have been a pretty cool space station. Number 10. The Galactic Suite Space Resort of all the proposed space stations on this list, few were as luxurious as the Galactic Suite Space Resort. Originally devised by the Barcelona-based space tourism company Galactic Suite Design, it reportedly entered development after an unknown space enthusiast invested $3 billion into the project. The original design called for a central hub with dozens of modules radiating outwards, with each module having a bedroom in which a space spa and space walks could be facilitated. Supposed to cost about $4 million per customer for a three-day stay, the company was planning to give guests a, quote, James Bond-style astronaut training. However, after missing its planned launch date in 2012, the company eventually fizzled away with nothing to show for its efforts. Number 9. OPSEC While the ISS may be a station that was built largely thanks to American and Russian cooperation, OPSEC is a concept that was originally set to derail this partnership. First planned in 2009, the Orbital Piloted Assembly and Experiment Complex, or OPSEC, was supposed to be a Russian replacement for the ISS once it's decommissioned in the late 2020s. 
The original idea is that it would use a mix of new modules and recycled modules from the ISS to make a Russian space station. With this station having the ability to assemble large spacecraft, conduct flight tests and launches, create, service and complete interorbital tugs, and provide rehabilitation centers for interplanetary astronauts after they've returned to Earth's orbit from either the Moon or Mars. Yet in spite of this very ambitious concept being in planning all the way up until 2017, it was eventually dropped by the Russian Federal Space Agency, also known as Roscosmos. Instead, they have now chosen to attach these modules to the existing ISS rather than to an independent space station. The exact reasons for this change of heart are still unknown. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Bigelow Inflatable Space Habitats While these technically aren't space stations in and of themselves, the Bigelow Inflatable Space Habitats are set to make the ISS look a whole lot cooler. Made by real estate tycoon Robert Bigelow's company, Bigelow Aerospace, these capsules are notable for being launched at a tight density of around 2.24 by 2.36 meters, and then expand to an area of 4.01 by 3.23 meters in one space. Allowing them to be put into orbit at a more cost-effective price, these capsules will add about 16 cubic meters of space to the ISS when attached, and will primarily be used for storage while on board. Bigelow also hopes that his much larger B-330 space habitats, which have about 330 cubic meters of space, could perhaps rival the ISS. That's because these habitats would be able to house up to six astronauts as they did research on board, and would be marketed at a much lower price than what similar space would cost on the ISS. With Robert Bigelow hoping that these capsules could thus act as a budget space station, it is hoped that smaller countries will launch their space programs with the help of these capsules once they're launched in around the year 2024. Number 7. The Lunar Orbital Station It's no secret that the world's superpowers have a fear of missing out, and that certainly seems to be the case with Russia's Lunar Orbital Station, or LOS. You see, the LOS design was first presented in 2007 at a conference at Russia's Star City, where it was pitched as a Russian craft that could orbit the moon. Now, in and of itself, the station is pretty impressive. After all, be it the spacecraft's high-power antenna for communications, maneuvering and attitude control engines, solar panels, or robotic arm, it really seemed like a multi-purpose tool. However, it turns out that the plans for the ship were primarily made only after Russia began to be dissatisfied with their role in the Lunar Gateway, which is another similar project mentioned later on in this list. Yet with some reports stating that Russia has now gone all in with Lunar Gateway and dumped the Lunar Orbital Station, it seems that this design may never see the light of day or the darkness of space. Number 6. The Manned Orbiting Laboratory One of the older additions to this list is the Manned Orbiting Laboratory, first announced to the public on December 10th of 1963. It stands apart due to its intended use as both a lab and spy spacecraft. See, at this time, the Cold War was still in full swing, and space development was not just seen as a way for both the USA and Soviet Union to show their dominance, but as a potential tool for spying on each other. As a result, the Manned Orbiting Laboratory was not just a NASA project, but a joint effort with the United States Air Force, and when announced, it was not done so by any president or NASA authority, but rather by Defense Secretary Robert S. McNamara. However, despite having the potential to be of great use to the U.S., the program was eventually canned in 1969, due to it being way behind schedule and way over budget. Regardless, it's still certainly one of the cooler concept space stations on this list. Number 5. The Aurora Space Station While today's ISS may be reserved for astronauts and celebrities, the Aurora Space Station will allow anyone with deep enough pockets to enjoy a luxury stay in space. Made by a startup by the name of Orion Span, the Aurora Space Station will reportedly launch in late 2021 and will be open to guests by 2022. It will reportedly be the same size as a large private jet cabin, coming in at about 160 cubic meters, making it about five times smaller than the 916 cubic meter ISS, and will orbit the Earth at an altitude of about 320 kilometers, which is somewhat less than the ISS altitude of 400 kilometers. Regardless, this space is more than enough to give the guests a five-star experience. 
Now these space vacations, which are slated to be 12 days in length, will be captained by two crew members who will in most cases be former astronauts, with as many as four guests being allowed on the station at a time. The spacecraft itself will have several onboard activities such as scientific research, food farming, and zero-gravity ping-pong. And once their vacation is over, guests will receive a hero's welcome that would be fitting for a real-life astronaut. To top this off, guests will have access to high-speed internet and will be able to contact their loved ones via video chat, allowing them to show off their incredible view to those of us stuck on Earth. However, it shouldn't come as a surprise that all this comes at a steep price. And with a going rate of $9.5 million per trip, these intergalactic gateways certainly will be out of the price range of the average vacation goer. Number 4. The Von Braun Space Station Few space station concepts are as impressive as the Von Braun Space Station. The plan is that this spacecraft will be made in the shape of a large rotating circle and would be not just used for scientific research, but also to house space tourists. And while prices for such a trip have not been set as of yet, what has been planned so far makes it seem like the ultimate luxury experience. Guests will first enter the ship through the docking station at the hub of the wheel-shaped structure. From that point, guests would take an elevator to one of the rooms arrayed on the outer ring. With the steady rotation of the station being enough to simulate gravity equal to one-sixth that on Earth's surface. As a result of this artificial gravity, guests will be able to eat, exercise, shower, and use the bathroom as much as they would back on Earth. However, since this gravitational pull will be much weaker than it is on Earth, they would be able to enjoy activities that are not available on our planet. These activities would be facilitated by a number of restaurants, gyms, sports arenas, and concert venues, and the ship itself would be spacious enough to accommodate 100 guests, and perhaps three times as many crew members. To top this off, several space planes would be at the ready to whisk guests back to Earth in case of an emergency and the entire ship would be completely temperature controlled to ensure maximum amount of comfort possible. However, despite these ambitious plans, it may be a while until they come into fruition. That's because despite building company Gateway Foundation planning for the station to be finished by 2025 and ready for passengers by 2027, they've currently been faced with severe underfunding. However, we hope that by the 2030s, this incredible space vacation place will be up and running. Number three. The Heavenly Palace While the United States and Russia may have been the pioneers of space exploration for the past 70-odd years, China is set to perhaps overtake the two with the launch of its Heavenly Palace space station. First unveiled in November of 2018 at Airshow China, the Heavenly Palace will be a 60-ton orbiting lab that will enable the crew to conduct research in the same manner that astronauts currently do on the ISS. Now, what's interesting about the Heavenly Palace is that it's essentially being made as a replacement for the ISS. After all, by about 2030, it's estimated that the ISS will have to be decommissioned, and therefore, another station will have to be created. However, with China not currently part of the team of countries that maintain the ISS, there may be tension between the two groups. Regardless, China hopes that the project will be completed around the year 2022, and plans for the station would have a lifespan of around 10 years and open to every country for various experiments. As a result, it's expected that many other space agencies will team up with China in order to mutually benefit. For example, as of now, the European Space Agency has already sent astronauts to China in order to receive training so that they can use the Chinese station once it's launched. However, that's not to say it's been completely smooth sailing. That's because the Chinese Space Agency has had some pretty major hiccups rather recently. With the most notable being when a space lab known as the Tiangong-1 disintegrated and unintentionally crashed back into Earth in 2018. Regardless, we're sure that with increased experience, China will soon be able to come closer to overcoming NASA's international dominance. Number 2. The Lunar Gateway Of all the stations on this list, few will be as helpful to the scientific community as the Lunar Gateway. Being made in a partnership between the United States, Russia, Canada, and the European Union and Japan, the Lunar Gateway, which has a budget of about $330 million, is set to be a multi-purpose craft capable of serving as a solar-powered communication hub, science laboratory, short-term habitation module, and holding area for rovers and other robots. Now, the idea of this is that the Lunar Gateway can be used as, quite literally, a gateway to the moon, as it could act as a stopover for spacecraft, robots, and humans as they travel to it. It is therefore hoped that the Lunar Gateway will not orbit around the Earth, but around the Moon, 
traveling in a seven-day near-rectilinear halo orbit that would bring the station about 3,000 kilometers away from the lunar north pole at its closest point. Yet what's most impressive of all is how the lunar gateway will be created. You see, rather than being one large structure, it will instead use a number of attached modules to make one large and functioning space station. These include parts such as the power and propulsion element, or PPE, the habitation and logistics outpost, or HALO, and the European system providing refueling, infrastructure, and telecommunications module, or ESPRIT. And with each serving a different purpose in fulfilling lunar missions, it's hoped that this spacecraft, which should be launched by 2024, will be an extremely useful tool for years to come. Number 1. Axiom Station It takes some serious science and impressive development to get NASA on your side. But startup Axiom did exactly that after recently brokering a five to seven year deal with America's space agency. Founded in 2016, Axiom is a private space company that hopes to soon have one of the first ever private space stations in orbit. Working with a team of industry leaders from Boeing, Thales Alenia Space Italy, Intuitive Machines, and Maxar Technologies, they landed the contract in January of 2020. Now, said contract stipulates that Axiom will first use its modules as part of the ISS. Then, once the ISS is brought back down to Earth in the late 2020s, the Axiom modules will detach themselves from the ISS and create their own functioning space station. However, while many details of this proposed space station are still under wraps, there are some key details that have been disclosed. The station has been designed by French architect and designer Philippe Stark, and when finished, the modules will include a research and manufacturing facility, crew habitat, and large windowed module for viewing Earth. With all the walls being covered with tufted padding and LEDs with the entire complex having access to high-speed Wi-Fi, the station will likely have one astronaut on board to conduct research and repairs, and it is likely that the space will serve both commercial and scientific uses. Best of all, with a planned launch date of late 2024, this stellar station will perhaps be in operation in just a few short years. That's all we've got for you today, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which space station concept you thought was the most innovative. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications button.